All right, welcome back to art class, everybody. Um, today's lesson is not anything to do with perspective, it's about coloring. So if you look at our learning target, our learning target is gonna be students will be able to add color to their city drawing, covering 90% of their entire paper. So we want you to cover you know, almost all your paper. I want you to use that white areas of your paper for important things like maybe the background, of a billboard or maybe inside of a window or something like that okay but we want to show you a special way to add color and um, and I think you're gonna enjoy it so uh, let's get right to it and get started showing you how to add color okay so now we're going to talk about how we add color to our cities and realistically you guys I know you're at home whatever colors you can find if it's crayons if it's um, if it's markers but ideally, man, if you could get colored pencils, colored pencils are the best thing to use for coloring these cities because your cities are so full of details that when we add color to them, we don't want to lose, any, lose out on any of those details because we use like a fat crayon that you can't get into all those details to make it look right. So man, colored pencils seem to work the absolute best. But before you start off with colored pencils, we gotta talk about some pros and cons of these colored pencils, okay? When you think about colored pencils, uh, based on how you use your colored pencil, it's gonna be based on how well your drawing is going to look. So if I just choose a colored pencil like this colored pencil right here, this is, uh, a maroon. So when I shade with a colored pencil, the one thing that's kind of bad about a colored pencil is it's going to leave a trace, a little track as to which way your hand was moving when you were coloring whatever it is that you were coloring. We don't want to do that, okay? So within your shapes, we want you to stay coloring in the same direction. So let's say for example, I draw on here, I draw a building. Okay, here's my building. When I look at my building, I really have three sides to that building, which means when I start within a shape, so really three shapes, one, two, and three. Let's say in the front I start shading or coloring in this direction. That means all the way through this shape, I need to color that direction and continue going that direction all the way through that shape. Just like this. Now, when I switch and, and go to this shape, I could switch and go this direction. That'd be good, but I want to continue that same direction all the way through that shape. Now when I think about coloring my city, I want to color about 90% of it with colors, colored pencil, because I want white to be used as a shape, as a color. So like maybe the background of the sign can be white, maybe the windows could be white, but uh, we're going to color most of your city drawing, including your ground and your sky. Okay. Now the other nice thing about shading is when you're shading with colored pencils or coloring with colored pencils is you get a nice solid covering like this looking somewhat light but you can also get such a really nice deep rich dark color and that's when things really start to look fantastic is when you can make a nice deep dark rich color in your city because when you hold it up from afar Get your little brother, sister, or older brother, sister, or mom or dad, or grandma, or grandpa. Have them hold it up far away from you. Look at it from afar and say, "Man, does this really pop?" And I guarantee you, when you color dark like that, it's gonna pop. You're gonna see it all. So let's talk about your city here just a little bit. I'm gonna show you a unique way to color. I'm gonna show you how to blend some colors. So we're gonna start off here with just kind of our goofy art center. Now. I know that some buildings now have LED lights on the outside of them. You know, down in Kansas City they have them, Chicago has them, Minneapolis has them, 
We're down in Miami for the Super Bowl. They've got it on their buildings. And so what you need to do is if you want to try the blending technique, you want to find three different colors. And when you think about selecting those colors, you might want to think of like a dark, a medium, and a light. And so my dark is going to be my blue, my medium is going to be my red, and my light is going to be my yellow. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with my dark. And I'm going to start down here at the base of my uh, funky art center here. And I'm going to color really dark with my blue. Just like this. Now some of you may have noticed that they're smart with their art stuff is that there's something unique about the three colors that I just happen to choose here. And some of you may realize that those are the three primary colors. Hopefully you did. Now after you've got it really, really dark there, you can start to let up on the pressure of your pencil. And you can start to let this get lighter and lighter and lighter as you go up. Just like that. It's almost nothing. So you almost can't even see the blue whatsoever. Then I'm going to start in here with my next color, my next lightest color, which is red. And I'm going to start where I just started to go light with my blue, I'm going to go dark with my red. Just like this. And I'm just going to color it nice and dark here. Blending that red into the blue. Just like this. It's going to really help uh, make those colors look like they're supposed to be there and they're supposed to be kind of blending with each other. Just like that. And we're going to come up here with some nice dark red. And then, you guys, the same thing with your blue. We're going to start to make our red get lighter and lighter and lighter. Just like this, so we don't have any hardly any red whatsoever there again. Make this darker down here. Make it light like that. Yep, that's good. Okay, then we're gonna get our lightest color, our yellow. We're gonna start yellow up here at the top. that yellow down to the red just like this and watch it blend and it's gonna blend everything together just like that and that's how you can blend colors now you don't have to blend your colors you certainly don't have to but you can and then you can just pick a color to be your side color if you want of your building it doesn't really matter. It could be the same colors blended, but it could also just be a color like what we got going right here. Just this kind of maroon color that we used to start with. And I'm going to color this one a nice solid color, but I'm not going to color it as dark as the front of this building because we want to be able to see it. We want to be able to see the front of this like stand out. Just like that, so. Now when we think about adding color to your city, remember color everything, we want to cover about 90% of your city. So that's gonna take a while. So the next uh, check-in that we do with you, we'll be checking in on your coloring. And then we'll talk about on our on our final one here for this assignment, kind of how we can upload your assignment, and share it with me, because I'd sure uh, love to see some of your final stuff. Can't wait to see what you guys came up with. So, uh, good luck with coloring. Have fun with coloring. Make it a very colorful city, and uh, hopefully see you soon. So that's how you add color to your drawings. Make sure if you want to blend, you can blend if you want but make sure you're color, coloring in the same direction throughout those same shapes. Again, I know we're in, in you know, certain situations here, extenuating circumstances, where 
your colors may be um, you know a crayon or it might be markers or maybe you don't have any colors at home if you don't have colors try just to add value and shading to your drawing okay over the next few days and so when we turn this in here in a few days I cannot wait to see what they turn out like I'm super excited to see this is our first time doing lessons online like this and um, I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with and, and uh, really looking forward to it so good luck adding color to your drawings and uh, we'll see you next art class have a good day everybody